go downstairs and admit our marriage is a five-minute mistake. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, but there's been a matrimonial mix-up. Please pick up your toaster ovens at the door and go home. Go do some damage control before the idea of us as husband and wife becomes rooted in people's minds. I refuse to go downstairs and paint us as two of the most frivolous, irresponsible, airheaded people to walk the planet. But I don't care what people think as long as they don't think we're married to each other. Oh, yeah? What about our investors, our stockholders, Adam? When we announced our engagement on the cutting edge, confidence dipped and stocks stopped being traded. A temporary flux, nothing irreversible. Adam, a chink in the corporate image could cause panic. America would cease to be bullish on Chandler Enterprises. If they thought their cheap cook and bottle washer was made a fool of for the sake of love, they would snap up stock at bargain prices, and they would have you outnumbered, outvoted, and out of work. So, this um, refusal to recant our marriage has my best interests at heart. Not entirely. As half-owner of WRCW, I have my own image to protect, don't I, Adam? So, um, pray tell, when did you become so image conscious? You pay me to think on my feet. When you were standing up there at the altar, I decided it was better if you didn't commit professional suicide. You're lucky I came to my senses. Lucky am I? No, 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 this is not luck. This is, um, hell. And before I'm finished, the devil is going to be begging me to let her leave. Uh, excuse me, could I have everyone's attention, please? Um, I want to thank you all for sharing this joyous occasion with us, but unfortunately, uh, we have to cut the evening short. Uncle Adam, are you asking us to leave? Well, you don't have to ask me twice. This is your idea of a wedding celebration. Your funeral should be a real gas. Uh, Daddy, you're, you're joking, right? The cake hasn't even been cut. And, and Liza hasn't, hasn't thrown the bouquet. I mean... There happen to be a few single women present who might relish in a little time-honored tradition, me included. Where is Liza? Teddy, hunt her down. Anyone have a loaded Mauser? Did I hear my name taken in vain? Liza! Yes. Toss the bouquet. I know how much it means to you. Well, yeah. Ladies, uh, gather round. Kelsey, Laura, Gloria, Winifred, you two. Ready for the countdown? Five, four, three, two, one. This isn't binding, is it? Uh, we'll negotiate later. Good night, everybody. Hey! <laughs> the fair, the middle, I the see. Some things never change, well, huh? That's how it is. You look... Hey, Hallie, Hallie, Jordan. So, uh, how do you like the best little jail cell in Texas? Uh, <laughs> so, what do you uh, think of San Antonio? Well, I haven't gotten a chance to see much of it yet. Well, uh, I could be your personal tour guide. I'll take you around to the best places. Paseo del Rio, that place is magnificent. I mean, any time of the day. But when it's Christmas, the lights, they're just it's wonderful. And we also know where the best. Handmade empanadas. empanadas. That's right, man. <laughs> yeah. So, um, food should we call food. the restaurant? Oh, yeah. Uh, food, Tom, well, well, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. Let's get you out of here first. All right, I'm set. All right, let's go. Can we go? Uh, there is a small matter of a fine. Oh, no. How much? thousand dollars. A grand? A grand for, for chopping a Christmas tree? It's on federal property. Come on, that's highway robbery, man. Oh, go ahead, pay him. There you go. Who, me? Yeah. I, I, I yeah, I, I would, um, but I'm a little light on cash right now. Man, that's cool. I take credit cards. It's my sweat. Yeah, well, my credit cards are kind of, no, they're really maxed out. Oh. And, you know, my, my business back uh, home and my dad's, I, my dad's business is really bad. You, you'd write a check and bail out a complete stranger? I'd do anything for Mateo, and you're his best friend, so I guess that means I'd do anything for you, too. 
Mr. Goldman. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, look, I, I couldn't do that. But I got this, got this number. If you call, leave a message on the machine for uh, Mike Slattery. Mike? Who's Mike? Try and get down here on the double. Do you find out? Yeah? Yeah, you find okay. out. Okay. All right. Yes, ma'am, the pair struck gold this time. Tell them the party is over. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? Meaning is the meaning of life? Well, that is a question that has been pondered by the greatest of intellects. There's a man out here with a mountain of luggage. Oh! Come on! Oh, thank heavens, here. Hi! <laughs> okay, uh, first bedroom upstairs on the left. Hold, hold, hold it just one minute. That's my room. Uh, correction, darling, that's our room. Ours to share in domestic bliss. Adam thought you were going to stop the ceremony. I guess I led him to that conclusion when he came here, pretending to be you. Oh, you knew about that too, huh? <laughs> oh, Stuart, I know the whole sad story. Oh, it is sad. Especially because he's now he's really, truly married to that Liza Cole. Do you understand why I let Adam hang himself? He had to learn his lesson the hard way. Yeah. Just wish it didn't have to hurt so much. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you it hurt me as much as it hurt him? Yeah. Because you really love him. I do love him. And I always will. But you know what? I know I did the right thing because when I was driving home tonight, I don't know, I had this sense of calm come over me. And I, I didn't have the pain anymore. Just this, this feeling of peace. And I'm afraid it's the kind of peace that Adam is never going to know. Just of Windsor doesn't travel with this much baggage. Well, I'm a pack rat. I have everything I own in those suitcases. Want to see my first grade report card? <laughs> All I want is a decent night's sleep. Should I call Winifred to turn down the covers? Yes, do that. I'll be in one of the guest rooms. Why don't you stay and join me for a snack? I have uh, smoked oysters, caviar, champagne. yourself. Just don't get too comfortable. Tomorrow I call the lawyers and we put an end to this farce. Yeah, go ahead. Call your suits. I can't wait till they ask to see your prenuptial agreement, Adam. Is this your best pass at the numbers? Costs are down. No, your profit goals are out of line. <laughs> With yours? With what's best for the station. 
We work for them. You expect me to do this now? Yes. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Daddy. Oh, good. Liza, uh, put them all around the tree. <laughs> I have a special one for you. Oh, thank you, Miss Chandler. You're welcome. Work? Today? Where's the Christmas spirit? Humbug. And you're here to spread holiday cheer. Wish my family a happy holiday. I need a long soak in a hot tub. Merry Christmas to you too, Liza. Mary, it's Adam. Blasted voicemail. Mary, when you get this message, call me back immediately. This is urgent. I have to get out of this marriage as quickly and painlessly as possible. So this is priority one. Drop all business and return my calls. The only gifts under the tree are the ones that I brought. I've canceled Christmas. You can't cancel Christmas. Darling, charge anything you like. Just Merry Christmas. You don't get it, do you, Daddy? I don't care about the presents. I thought maybe that we could spend some time together tonight of all nights. Uh, Merry Christmas. No! There's a big truck in the middle of the driveway. What? No, it's dumping Lovering... a load in the middle of the driveway. What? Lovely, what? What are you talking about? Get up. No! Oh, 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 oh. I never heard of Blitzen Industries. Well, they've heard of you. Now, that idiot dumped two tons of coal in my driveway. Evidently, you've been a very bad boy. And they're not getting away with it. Well, you're not going to leave it out there in the middle of the driveway, are you? This is Christmas Eve. What do you suggest I do with it? Get a shovel. I'll handle this my way. <laughs> I didn't put it here. Don't look at me. To Liza. Maybe Daddy had a change of heart. What heart? Doesn't say who it's from. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Well, good night. Well, I guess we might as well. wonder and joy, remember Priscilla and a new friend you met on a cold winter day. I know I will. Jake. Winifred? Winifred? Yes, Mrs. Temp. Uh, return this uh, present now, please, now. Bye-bye.